John Herald in the comments asked me, have you compared the SE V7 and the Beta 58A? I don't think I have. He said he finds uh, Beta 58A nice for females, perhaps a bit sibilant. He says he doesn't care for it on the males. The hyped 4K is very harsh and shrill when they dig in. And yet, it lacks body in the mids. Okay. Well, I have the Shaw Beta 58, not the A. I looked at Shaw's website, which is excellent, I feel. They seem to have a bit of pride in their stuff. Seem to. And there's information. They're just very nice. Great. Why not? Uh, they say the 58A, which isn't this one, this is the older one, has a completely new cartridge meant to mimic the old cartridge in terms of polar pattern, output, and frequency. They removed a humbucking coil and added an output transformer. What difference that makes must make some difference, otherwise it wouldn't have done it. Whether it was simply manufacturing on cost. Um, who knows? They say they tried to mimic this. So why did they change it? Don't know. Anyway, staying on this one, my Beta 58. For me, I never liked it from the outside, up from the offset. It sounded to me, from my voice, was like a, a 58, but with the bits I don't like, turned up. But a friend of mine happens to be female. She likes it. I think she prefers it to her Neumann KMS. Might be because you can't get as much detail, and that puts people off sometimes. One of the things when you give them a, a classy mic, it's like, well, I can hear everything. I'd rather have it over a little bit. And the other was fairly recently. If you see, I did a, a, I went to Angela Rino in a video comparing. She wanted a new mic. We had the SM7B, which was hers as a kind of reference. And I took some others and some posh ones around. And I think she's decided to buy the 58A. Well, this one was the one she tried, but assuming the A is very similar. I used it just recently, and I'll put a clip. I'll put my Instagram one-minute clip of the covers I do on the various mics. And when I, I remember doing it and listening back to it and thinking, not for me at all. Probably the worst mic for me I've used. Um... We'll see. I'll tell you what I why I say that. But let's look at what John found. He said, nice for females, perhaps a bit sibilant. He said he doesn't care for it on males. The hyped 4K is very harsh and shrill when they dig in. Yet, it lacks body in the mids. Mid frequencies. So, I'll do the usual thing. And I'll move from this Earthworks ethos onto these two. And swap about a bit. Somebody asked me why I'm not using the SV33. Uh, the reason being that it's <laughs> kind of convenience to save, you have to, you know, unscrew all this and it's over there. But um, also, this ethos is so close to it for, for the kind of work I'm doing. I don't, I, don't, I don't see any point. If I was doing really critical stuff and I had a really high end everything, then I'd probably get the 33 out. But this is so close that uh, I use this just for convenience. But not only for convenience, because obviously I think it's easily good enough. So I'm going to move from the ethos to the V7 and see what I notice immediately. Now I'm on the V7. Now I'm on the V7. What do I notice immediately? I notice a s when I say 7. Uh, there's a bit of there, 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 now, and a bit of ah. Uh, Ah, 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 whatever frequency that is. The V7. The V7, yeah. The V7. Vun, 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 vun. Ah, 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 ah. Mm hmm. Back to the ethos. Now I'm on the ethos. Now I'm on the ethos, which to me just sounds more as you'd expect. Back on the V7. This is the V7. You see, you notice immediately. This is the V7. So it's got that at the top. And uh, 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 come closer there, come closer there. A little bit SM5080, but I think nicer down the bottom there. It's obviously curtailed. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. That's the V7 back on the it's notice. But it's okay, isn't it? 
A little bit of that, but not as plasticky as the uh, 58. Let's see what the 58 beta, or the beta 58, whichever around it is, has to offer. So I'm back on the, I'm back on the uh, ethos. Moving straight to the uh, beta 58. This is the beta 58. This is the beta 58. This is the beta 58. Yeah, what do I hear immediately? Obviously that at the top, more so than the, the V7. And s s s s very grainy to me. Um, and then lower down, somehow, somehow, yeah, 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 somehow a bit recessed somewhere, which I think is what he talks about. So he's talking about a 4K push. I don't know if it's 4K, but that, whatever it is, and yet seems to lower in the mids, mids, mids. So that gets boxy. Da, da, da. Just for me, just for, can you hear what I'm talking there? Just for me, not very nice. It's not very clear. Not for me. Anyway. I'll stay on it and let me tell you. I can't actually. I'm going to go back to the ethos. So, yeah, what I noticed, and I'll put the clip on. I noticed when I was doing it, playing piano and singing, and then I did the editing later. I thought, oh, no, 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 no. So, yeah, I noticed that push at the top, but to me it seemed ragged and grainy and low quality, and I was using a distortion, the blues ting, and I was done. <sighs> I was using a bit of stuff up the middle of it, up the top there. And it was just adding to it, and it wasn't, um, you'd think it would kind of suit that kind of singing, or I thought it would, which is why I chose it. But no, because I've got enough of that if I want it myself. I can do it. Uh, I don't want it interfered with, so I didn't like that. And then I found it very much that, uh, I'm going to do a video on this as well, that I, I, I like light diaphragms, because I've noticed all the time when I'm using heavier, kind of crude diaphragms, if you like, uh, I back away too far, and it just, drops it's like you have to drive the thing the whole time otherwise as soon as you're you're away from it it's just gonna do just dead it needs too much energy from me mm. anyway let's see back on the v7 a little bit hollow sounding i thought first of all back on the, cause I got the uh, uh, and then that thing at the top yeah so a little bit hollow let me bring it in a bit more let me bring it in a bit more let me bring it in a bit more let me bring it in bring, bring, bring it bring it bring it <sighs> going to the the 58 this is the 58 the beta 8 the beta t can you hear that t and it's like it's got a t t t so just look at the various ish frequencies let's start with that this is the beta t t t t t t t t t v7 Beta. There's something in there which doesn't suit me. Doesn't suit me. Doesn't suit me. Suits me better. Suits me better. It's classier, I feel. With the um, the breath. Let's see if we can uh, hear the um, the qualities of that. Don't know if it's to me, but that's quite remarkable. The difference, the V7. I feel like it's a breath, a breath of fresh air almost. If that's not ridiculous. Also seems to be a lot louder here. Mid range. Ooh, 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 ooh. Beta, of course. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. When I do that, I can hear something higher up. Can you? Some part of that in my voice. Phlegm, maybe? I don't know. Turn this one up just a little. What do you think? Ah, uh, ooh, ah, uh, yeah, ah, uh, yeah, ah. Uh, that's where I've got some. I wouldn't choose. Uh, well, yeah, uh, 
uh, I wouldn't choose, obviously I've got so many mics, I wouldn't choose this, but if I had between these two, certainly. Ah, ah, yeah, ah, yeah, ah, ah, yeah, ah, yeah, ah, yeah, ah, just uninteresting somehow. I'll go to the low end and I'll do polar. Handing a few, uh, beta. Oh, oh. This one seems to have less low bass, no? Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. Well, this isn't low bass, really. It's kind of ho, 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 something around there, just sort of so making it not very cloudy. Not making it cloudy. Anyway, I'm not sure what polar pattern this is. Let's see if we can find out. Here I am, straight on, straight on, stress. Just something. Straight on, straight on, coming around the side, coming around the side, coming around the side, coming around the side. Good rejection there. Yes, sir. Good rejection, good rejection. Coming around the back, coming around the back, coming around the back. So I would guess from that, it sounds a bit hypercordial to me because there's quite a bit of leakage there uh, at the back end of it. Coming around to the side, coming around to the side, and very tight rejection there, and then coming on the front there. Now on the V7, here we are on the front. Here we are on the front, coming round to the side, 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 coming round. Yes, again, very tight, much the same, I think. Coming round to the back, coming round to the back, coming round to the back. Oh, coming round to the back, coming round to the back. Now I'm on the side, now I'm on the side. Very good rejection. Now I don't know which it is, because there's not really. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe up there, maybe higher up. I don't know. Down there. No, no, maybe around there. Whatever it is, it's quite tight at the back as well. And then at the side, yeah, very tight. And then we come on there. And also, I think, fairly even tonally as we come round. That's that. Pops, pops, pops. Uh, pops. Pops. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. The Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, yeah. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Mm. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Mm. Peter Piper picked. So I think possibly the V7 slightly better on that. And handling noise. So I think from that, uh, similar, this one's got a lower ha uh, lower handling noise, uh, and uh, I think the boof is a bit lower, so if you really were having problems, you could uh, remove the l a lower frequency, which might not affect females if you're really having problems. And I think to get rid of this one, it would be too high up to remove it without affecting the voice. But um, not bad for, f you know, what can you do with both the popping and the things? very pff, difficult to... So they both do an okay job of that. So going back to John, as we finish, I kind of agree with him, really. He said, okay, for females, perhaps a bit sibilant. I didn't notice that the two people that I know, they just happened to be female, actually, but they both rather liked it. Uh, but there weren't any males that tried it, so you know, make of that what you will. Um, don't care for it on males. Uh, frankly, I don't care for it at all. But uh, the hype at 4K, yes, very harsh. I think so, yes, and shrill, mm, ragged and just crude, I would say. And yes, that mids thing I noticed. And uh, But as always, you know, really, see if you can try for yourself. I'll leave you with uh, the Instagram clip. So it's only a minute long. Difficult for you to tell because you don't know my singing, but you can, look, you can see the watch the whole thing on my uh, covers playlist see what see what you think anyway um that's it i wish you well and i'll see you next time left behind your casino card now this life in mayfair sure ain't hard i ran it up to about 
50 grand I drew it out and held it in my hand That kind of word gets around Makes a lost love turn up found I hear you baby at my door But you ain't living here no more Too bad baby I think you might have made a move too soon Oh, too bad babe I think you might have made a move too soon I've been from Spain to Tokyo Africa to Ohio I never planned